Well, welcome back. Another build. Angel Wing Designs S O A S, which means shit off a shovel. There, I said it. Rude word. Uh, standard thing. All I'm going to do now, I'm going to lay out all the kit bits and we're going to crack on because with this, right at the start, there's something very important that if I think if I tell you now, it means that it's going to speed up the whole build process very, very quickly. So first thing out of the kit is the sheets for the plan, which are going to require some sticking and gluing. We need to iron these out first. Everything you need in the kit, right there. Right, okay, so um, it says in the instructions to get two of these out. My advice, get two of these spars out, get your ribs out, identify all the ribs you're going to need, also the tube and the uh, main spar. The reason being is, is that all the ribs and the trailing edge is going to have to be angled. So my advice is, and this is my top tip, and say if you're doing it as you go along, as you get further on, you think, oh, hang on a minute, is this tube going to fit? My advice is I would cut and sand all the angles now for the whole wing, which is just going to make it far, far easier for you to get along. What you don't want to do is find out you've got that spar, you've got your trailing edge uh, spar in, and then all of a sudden you find this bit, which is for your wing joiner, is difficult to get in. Another little tip, I would just give that a rounding off, just the edge on either end, give that a rounding off, because that will make it easier to fit into the ribs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all my ribs out, I'm going to go get my ply ribs and all my other ribs and the trailing two trailing edges and I'm now going to cut all the angles or sand all the angles. Okay, so I have obviously sanded all my ribs, checked the angles. I've now got the two spars remembering it tapers to the outside um, these are a little bit of gash timber that I got from my Pug V2 which drop in there sweet so I use those two to align the spar and then I've used the rest of these scrap bits of timber from the Pug just to clamp in place I have clamped my spar in place I've just taken out the angle now I'm slowly methodically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to work my way all the way through, cross checking with the other side to make sure that I've got all the ribs. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to slowly load it onto this spar. Okay, I took some time jiggling my uh, spars in place, getting the ribs in place. I've used bits of blue tack to hold some ribs in place, some pins. I've desperately tried to avoid pinning any major structures. Uh, I'm now going to go along. I'm only going to be gluing the main ribs at the, the main ribs at the moment. These interstitial ribs get left for the time being. These tips available from Angel Wing Designs. Okay, I have added the aluminium tube which is going to be the uh, wing joining support so next thing now is we're adding the leading edge the carbon tiny carbon leading edge we are not sticking the interstitial ribs even though I've got these are loose at the moment I'm going to add the leading edge to the main ribs and then I glue the interstitial ribs after it's in place So I've sinoed all my leading edge. Um, I've sinoed this at the moment, but I might be adding something a little bit stronger later, the uh, wing joiner. Now, the next thing we're gonna need is one of these with this little groove. Um, I've actually taken mine off plan as advised, and I've just added some more glue into the wing joints. 
Um, now, what we've got to do is that groove here has got to run along between that groove there. So I think it might be worth just marking it with a little bit of pencil. So that's going to get glued to there like so. And then that's going to get glued to there like so. Because the idea is at some stage this is we're going to cut through that cut when you want to be out cut through the whole lot. But I'm now going to glue the top. I'm going to clamp the top when it's in place. Then I'm going to fold it over and then glue everything um, to the ribs here. So I get a nice strong bonded joint. So a couple of next things, I've just clamped down my top Elevon sheet while it's gluing. I'm using alphatic resin on that. Um, it's worth getting three of these. These are going to need gluing together. Um, my advice, as always, with anything that needs sanding, I would use PVA or an alphatic glue. Also, while this is going off, we're going to need one of these. Uh, one of the curved pieces here, one of those, and we're going to need not this one because this is underneath, we're going to need this sheeting here, uh, which is going to be glued to this one here. And again, my advice is I would use PVA because um, we're going to need to do some sanding. I have my uh, main panel just gluing, again PVA glue, I've got my wingtip, three pieces gluing, I've got this piece here, it's now going to go onto um, here like so, so I'm literally just going to try and sheet everything up as I can do as I go along when time allows. Okay, so that uh, the top Elevon sheeting has gone very well. Uh, I'm now just going to add this little bit here. And then these two bits that I joined together here uh, is then going to just match up with that like so. Get glued in. So I'm going to glue all that into place is the next step. Um, I am going to use alphatic glue for this because this is going to need some uh, sanding. Whoa, just started gluing this. And remember, it's got to take the strengthening tag off of there. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering why my sheeting weren't going down as well. So just remember, got that little tag to take off. It's there to give some strength until you actually put the sheeting on. <clears throat> okay, so we've added the top, sh all the top sheeting. That's all gone very nicely. Now, the only other thing we have to do, these two little triangles here, there's part of the left ribs. These two little triangle bits here, which are the left, these little slotty things here, these basically make up the ends of the elevons. So the big one is going to fit just along here. And then the smaller one fits inside there. Be careful, you don't want to be gluing it to the other. Jesus Christ, I'm all cocked here. Right. Be careful, you don't want to be gluing it to that. So you want it running to the edge there. And to the edge there. And I might just infill with a little bit of Sino. And also just put in a little bit of baking powder to give that a bit of extra strength. Okay, so I've done uh, all the top sheeting. Now, I've added the two end fillets for the elevons, which are these. The next thing in the instructions, it says that if you can see this line here, we've got to slowly cut through that with a knife. Uh, I ain't gonna video that. I'll let you know how I get on. If you hear man's head explodes in North Devon, it could be me. What could possibly go wrong? 
Okay, so I've got my spar off. Um, little caution here. I think I would suggest, if I was doing this again, I should have used alphatic resin, not super glue. I mean, it's come off all right, but you just need to be take your time. So my advice would be is literally slide it into the middle, working away from yourself, and then when you get to about here, which is right by the rib, retract the blade so it's actually short of the rib, so that you can then, I'd say, go in about halfway and then just work the knife and then slowly work the knife in. Because if you've got the blade too far through, you'll end up slicing through the rib. Um, but yeah, just take your time. Nice sharp blade like so. These, I personally think, is a bit too thick. But, um, you know, not everybody will agree with that. But my advice is I would use that. And I think when we come around to using doing the second wing, I'm going to have a go at using Sino on the main spar. But on this trailing edge, I might have a go with alphatic resin. It's just something you just take your time. But for God's sake, don't do it towards you. Because if any of this spar suddenly lets go, you've stabbed yourself. Okay, under surface, uh, I obviously we've removed the rear spar. Now I have got my bottom of the elevon and also the outer piece and the inner piece and they're all going to get glued like so. I'm going to use a slow glue. You won't do this in Sino. Uh, so I'm going to do this uh, with my superfatic glue. The other thing is make sure that the wing is actually fixed to the bench like so because then you're going to get a nice accurate finish across there. Uh, a couple of little mod, well one little modification <coughs> I'm going to do Put all the back sheeting on the next thing we're going to do is put in our uh, magnets on so what i've done is i've put a little just a little bit of masking tape uh and it's the bigger magnets that you want so the idea is i'm going to infill this from this side because you want literally you don't want it um you want it fitting flush to the outside so i'm actually pushing that so it's up against the tape and the tape is holding it in place like so and what I'm now going to do, two things. One, I'm going to lightly tack that with some glue. And the other thing I have done is, is that you could put super glue um, and some baking powder around here. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Some of the scrap that I've got, I am literally going to put myself a little spacer across there. And then I'm going to make sure, because me being cack handed, what I don't want to do is punch this uh, magnet out and then it's rattling around inside the wing. So as a fail safe, I've just marked that line where that's going to go and that's going to pop in there like so. Just make sure that that little piece there that you're putting in doesn't stand proud of the rib because we're just about to put some more sheeting on there. So we've got that one to do. I'm doing it exactly the same with the uh, magnet in the front. So you've got a magnet here and a magnet here. And it's the bigger, it's the larger of the um, magnets. So while we have the top sheet, sorry, the bottom sheeting with the servo hole um, is now all gluing. Um, one little tip here. If you have your servo hole here and there's a rib showing, You've got it at the wrong angle. That's the golden rule. If you, when you put your servo sheeting in, this one, if you've got a rib showing, it ain't right. <laughs> so if you've got a rib going halfway across the hole, it's not right. So next thing is you're going to need the two big um, magnets. You're going to need your ply centre section and the bits for the fin. So I'm just going to cut them all out. Okay, I have added the thicker magnets, one to the front, one to the bigger hole. Remember the smaller hole is the locating peg for the rear of the trailing edge. And I have just taped that down, well, I've got some tape down 
and these pins just holding it in place and I'm using this. Right, basic wing for the SOAS, the left wing, is done. Um, we've got to split this and we've got a couple of little strengthening gussets just to put in there and obviously the wing tip to put on but I'm going to do that when I do the other side. Now I've left it like this because what I'd like to do is go on to the next part and showing you how I build the right hand wing in conjunction with the left hand wing and then uh, gear install and on that and I'm thinking I might do a separate video on how I'm going to finish this. Ooh. Uh, I'll see you soon. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.